Okay, welcome back. This is Add and Subtract Fractions with Unlike Denominators, Day 5. Woo woo! So, this is um, the last day we have on this topic, and I just thought that deserved a little celebration. So, today what we're going to be talking about is how you... We're just going to look at some different kinds of problems and some more ways of simplifying to make your life easier. So, 4 doesn't go into 15, 15 doesn't go into 4... We can't do that. We could times both sides by one, four over four here and 15 over 15 here. That is one way we could do it and that's the way you have been doing it. There's another thing that you could do, which is to simplify the fractions before you do that. If these numbers are getting too big for you, then this is something that might work. So um, six fifteenths can be simplified because three goes into both of them. So instead of when we're simplifying, we're gonna um, divide. And then when we're trying to get matching denominators, that's when we would multiply. So we're gonna divide by three over three, and except we're going the backwards way. So this is actually six divided by three and 15 divided by three. So six divided by three is two. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 2 fifths might be easier for you to work with. And then um, 2 fourths, that should at some point become familiar to you that 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. But if it doesn't, if it's not, sorry, that's supposed to be a 2, um, we're going to divide by 2 over 2 because 2 goes into both of them. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now you could go do what we've been doing where you would multiply these two by two. So two times two is four, two times five is 10. And then this, the numerator and the denominator will be multiplied by this denominator. So five times one is five and five times two is 10. So we have four tenths plus five tenths, which when we add them together, equals nine tenths. Okay, let's look at another example of this. In this one, only one of the fractions can be simplified. So it's on this side. And just because I did that the last time, it was a little confusing. We're gonna divide both of these by four over four. So eight divided by four is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 8 twelfths is actually the same thing as 2 thirds, and we don't need to simplify the 1 fifth. Now we can't just subtract here, so we have to get a common denominator like we were talking about before. So, and I'm doing it in a little bit shorthand of a way at this point, but I'm going to do 5 times 2 and 5 times 3. So 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. I don't have to, um, oh, I do have to change this. I just didn't have to simplify it, but I do need to get a common denominator. So I'm gonna do three times one is three and three times five is 15. And then I can do 10 minus three is seven, keep the denominator. And from this original expression up here, we would simplify it all the way down to seven fifteenths. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that was useful. Good luck, and we will see you around sometime. Bye!